Hi there, I'd like to talk to you today about the walls of Jericho. In your King James Bible, Joshua chapter 6, talks about a really unbelievable event that happened here thousands of years ago when Joshua was with God and he was ruling over the people and he just he just really, really walked with the Lord and the Lord was with him. At that time they had the Ark of the Covenant and uh, I don't know what the Ark of the Covenant is. Some people say that it's in... Chester and Oak Island here, Treasure Island, and some people say that the Knights Templar took it away somewhere in Scotland or wherever it is, but whatever it was, it was a very special thing here. The Ark of the Covenant was, they made a casing for it with wood and they had it on a, I, I guess it looked like a, like a sculpture or something, or, I don't know, I don't know what it looked like. I, I've seen modern day images of it, but I don't, no, I don't know, it might be it might be round, it might be a sphere, it might be a a, a, a cube, but whatever it is, uh, Joshua chapter 6 really explains its power and its origins. The Ark of the Covenant is from God. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out, and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given unto thee thine hand Jericho and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. Ye shall encompass the city, all ye men of war, and go round the city once. And thus shall do, do this six days. And the seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of the ram's horn, and the seventh day ye shall encompass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the horns. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. And the wall of the city, what, shall fall down flat. And the people uh, shall ascend up every man straight before him. So, what's going to happen? They're making a plan, says God. We're going to make a plan. See that city over there? Jericho's got the big walls. Joshua says, we're not going to be able to take down these walls. Well, fortunately for you, Joshua, we have the Ark of the Covenant and uh, the priest, which is not the same thing as Catholic priests. Very different. So these priests, with the, uh, the, the ram horns, the big trumpets, they make a plan. They're going to go around the city once a day for six days. Seventh day, we're going to go around seven times. Sounds good enough. And it came to pass when Joshua had spoken unto the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horn passed on before the Lord and blew with the trumpets and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. The ark of the covenant. They had that with them. Remember that. And the armed, armed men went before the priests that blew with the trumpets and the reward came after the ark, the priest going on and blowing with the trumpets and Joshua had commanded the people saying ye shall not shout nor make any noise with your mouth uh, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout then ye shall shout so the ark of the Lord compassed the city going and abound it once they lodged in the camp and then the second day and it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day compassed the city after the same manner Seven times. Only on that day they encompassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priests blew with the trumpets. Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city, and the city shall be accursed, even it, and all that are therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot shall live. She and all that are with her in thy house, because she hid the messengers that we, we sent. She had helped a couple guys there before, a couple chapters before. And ye, in any wise, keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest ye make yourself accursed, uh, when ye take of the accursed thing, and make the camp of Israel accursed and trouble it. So, don't take any accursed things. They obviously had graven images or something like that. But all the gold and the silver, bristles of brass, iron, all of those treasured, consecrated unto the Lord, they shall come into the treasury of the Lord. When the people shouted, 
the, so the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the shout of the trumpets and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city every man before him and they took the city they utterly destroyed all that was in the city both men and women young and old the ox sheep ass with the edge of the sword oh I mean you guys you guys might think that's kind of kinda of rough you know going in there and slaughtering men women and children and the, the beasts and then taking all the gold for, for themselves but you, what you don't realize is these people were continually sinning in evil they were continually having their thoughts never they they would never ever ever think of the Lord and always think of, of Baal worship and Sun worship and Luciferianism it's a corruption it once people are, are it's gonna leaven the whole bread you ever heard that saying Little lump, little, little leaven shall lump, leaven the whole lump. But once that's just so corrupted and far gone, and like I know some people around here, there's just, just there's no talking to the Lord. I mean, they're they got their own religion, and they say, "Well, I'm just gonna die and and not go to hell, and not trust in the Lord." So, I mean, once it comes to that point where a sinner becomes so unrepentant, there's no hope. There's no hope for him, and th that's why. That happened because that generation of those people inside Jericho, Sodom and Gomorrah. Look at Sodom and Gomorrah. They, those guys were so evil, so so evil, and the the, the Lord destroyed. Well, the Lord destroyed the whole earth back in the time of Noah. I believe there was DNA man manipulation and all, that, and all that garbage. You know, when people take their eyes away from the Lord, just miserable, miserable things happen. And when the Lord that created everybody sees that His own creatures are sinning against him and just creating this this negative 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 world what would an almighty and fearful and terrible God do also a loving and passionate God but also a jealous God he's not gonna like you uh, I mean look at Moses he comes down from the mountain and they're worshiping this golden calf well huh you know like brought him out of the land of Egypt and it just takes anything just anybody that says let's just worship Lucifer for a minute if it's if it's bad music or or hip shaking dancing you know how those those Elvis hippies and those guys do it that's not of the Lord if you want to hear some music with some old-time hymns uh, King James you know old-time hymns and classical music uh, of course, the uh, the musical scale is corrupt. There's uh, in there's differences between harmonic ratios between the third intervals and all that stuff. The piano is 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 secular. It's not a religious tuning. It's not a spiritual tuning. I can tune it myself. I can tune a piano back, but you can only play in the key of C. So, if I'd have a a, a fiddle or any fretless instrument, I can get all the the notes that I need. But piano or guitar. Which I do play. It's uh, it's it's secular tuning. So make sure that you all all this secular stuff. It doesn't mean neutral. It means from the devil. That's what it means. All this secular business. Just stay away from it. Stay just 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 read the Bible. And if you get bored with the Old Testament, like you can you God gave you gave you so much stuff. I mean, even if you're having troubles and stuff, He gave you a life and He gave you you know your your surrounding and, and everything good comes from God and everything bad comes from the devil so just give God a little bit of time get through that Old Testament you know read Romans uh, you know first Timothy is a good book first Timothy 316 it's a great passage everything that's 316 it seems first John 3 I mean John 316 there's you know these these Bible scriptures just 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 it just it's it's something that that we already knew some somewhere in our spirit we already know all this stuff but this makes it concrete it makes it real it's 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 really great so if if the lord can take down the walls of jericho what else can he do for us give the lord a little bit of time get through the old testament and and read the king james bible the whole thing it's 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 a great 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 gift from god that we got let's uh 
Let's use it. Let's use our time for the Lord. And witness to Roman Catholics. These guys think of 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 going to heaven as in having to spend 50 years in purgatory for some reason. It's it's just blasphemy. It's heresy. They're teaching that the Lord didn't die for our sins and we need to the the payment of the cross wasn't enough, so we need to have uh, blasphemous heresies like the Eucharist and and purgatory and confessions and and you know Christmas and Easter don't celebrate Christmas. It's just pagan sun worship. That's all it is. It's not Jesus' birthday at all. Might be the Antichrist birthday, which is they say G when they say Jesus, that means the Antichrist. That's what they say. His name is also Jesus, coincidentally. So. Don't celebrate the Antichrist's birthday, December 25th. Just celebrate, you know, Passover and Feast of the Unleavened Bread. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And Easter, Easter is a Catholic, Catholic, it's propaganda, that's all it is. It's not, that's not, it's not it. Don't, don't do anything Catholic. You already know, we already know how much the Catholics are, are twisting everything around to, Go against the Bible. They have they make a Christian religion and they say, You stupid book, I don't like you, so I'm gonna destroy you whatever way I can. It, they said they're saying, God, I don't like you, I don't like your commandments, we might as well break it and teach other people to break it. That's what the Catholics. King James Bible, can't go wrong. Just just read it. Nothing wrong with reading the Bible. People are gonna say, Oh, you're reading the Bible. So what? So what? Like seriously. You're, you don't, you believe in evolution theory? Seriously? That's what you should say. Oh, and if any Jehovah's Witness come to your door, say, uh, number one, did you know that your, your manu biblical manuscripts come from the Vatican? Well, and you know, Jehovah's Witness, they can't even take your information. You try to give them a, a gospel track or something, they won't take it. It's against their religion. So, so I mean, they're calling for one world government. Jehovah's Witness has got a unbelievably heret. Her it's it's their 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 Bible they're based on Alexandrian manuscripts. Jehovah's Witness Bible. It's it's so it's so blasphemous. It's unbelievable. They 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 don't believe Jesus. You ask them, do you believe Jesus was God? They'll say no. Witness to Jehovah's Witness. Witness to Catholics. Witness. You know, if you get a unrepentant sinner, that's that's fine. But people that actually have spiritual faith, you should try to trust them, make them trust in the Lord, and say, "Look, that's where the Bible is, not not these crazy places." Anyway, so that makes me happy that we have the story of the walls of Jericho and stories like Sodom and Gomorrah. Might seem kind of cruel, but it's not. It's not cruel because the Lord gave us what he gave us it's so it's such a wonderful work that our god is as a wonderful and terrible and frightful god but he's also a just and loving god and that's great because he created us from the dust of the ground if he can make the walls of jericho fall he can make anything happen at all well thank you and have yourself a wonderful wonderful day